to another episode of our new show, Out of Your Mind. My name is David and I'm reporting live. As you can see, there's a forest behind me, but not just an ordinary one. Only a few days ago, this forest was enchanted. Still, don't worry, you won't be able to see any kind of ghosts, ills or trolls. Well, maybe you will, but they are completely harmless. So, what's the catch? According to known legend, this forest has to remain enchanted until it should be entered by someone who prefers his sorrow over all the joy of this world. That kind of miracle actually happened a few days ago. True story. Believe it or not, there was this person who honestly claimed that he would be rather be sad than happy. Who that weirdo was, we'll find out in today's episode. Hello, young man. Can I ask you a question? I mean, I heard it. Sorry. We are simply curious. How come this forest isn't enchanted anymore? Let's hope that you'll we'll find out someone else. Well, here they are, these two young guys. Perhaps they know something. Excuse me. We don't know anything. Anything at all. In fact, we know, but we aren't ready to tell you. You see, Pat, we are on a vacation right now. That's right, and we didn't know how long exactly this vacation of ours will last. Even Master Sibor doesn't know that. Because this forest isn't enchanted anymore. Much, there isn't uh, much to do for us here. I get it, but maybe you know if there's somebody who isn't on vacation right now. You could ask her, you could ask mother or brother, he never rests. Oh, thank you. I don't know, so human. Or a rabbit. Or a fox. There, there's not much use from trolls on vacation. Maybe this time we will get lucky. After all, third time of charm. Granny, hey, Granny, excuse me, you have a minute. Well, of course. Great, I'm David, reporting live of a show out of your mind. Have you heard about it? No. Of course you've heard about it. So, tell me, are you from here, from Silver's Forest? Yes, I am. Our house is not far from here. There is it, on the little blade nearby. So, tell me, are you familiar with, break, with breaking spell of this forest? Of course I am. Excellent. Would you tell us everything about it, please? You came to the right place. I will tell you everything. Will you? That is great. Thank you, Granny. You're welcome. I'm truly glad it sounds interesting in this story of ours. Where should they start from? Of course, from the beginning from the beginning itself. The story began like this. It was cold winter and everything was white. There was this young man who came to the forest to cut some woods. Just a second ago, we also saw some young man. Was that him? Yes, it was. It was a beautiful winter day, so after cutting in the woods, a young man sat down on a stump to rest a little. Suddenly, he saw a snake coming out of a stump of a tree. Oh, what a beautiful snake. I must have a desire to take it home. Oh, here is a silly head who will set me free to his own misfortune. It was a thought of a sinful soul hiding in the snake. To you call it the evil, the snake turns into a beautiful girl. Here I am, take me to your home and marry me. I'm taking you home, dear. If he was only wise enough to smash the snake with his hatchet, shouting on her, I wasn't planning to marry a forest monster. This beautiful but fair girl become a snake again and there will be no harm. But he was kind, modest, shy, and not brave enough. I see, I see. As a, matter, as a matter of fact, he actually liked the girl a lot because she was gorgeous. On the other hand, he was easy trustful and he couldn't know what was there left in her mouth. And what was left? You'll find out soon enough. Sit there aside, please, and I'll tell you everything. Excellent. I'm all ears. So, there she was. A snake pretending to be a girl, staying in mother's house. Mother, here is your new daughter-in-law. Thank God, my dear son. But mother, an old and wise lady, was well aware of what her daughter-in-law has in her mouth. Wait, wait, what was it? <laughs> you choose a beautiful bride, my son. But be careful. Isn't she a snake? My mother has to be a witch. Please be quiet, you old uh, woman. Why do you always rush me to get married? Yes, you have. Now, when I'm finally married, shouldn't you be glad? So, three of them started living together, together, but everything went wrong. The daughter-in-law was 
evil, greedy, with a dirty mouth. Granny, go to the top of the cliff and bring me some snow to wash my face. But dear child, there is no path to death cliff. I need only the best for my, for my delicate skin. What are you waiting for? The mother was so grieved that she went to the cliff to fetch some snow because she was tired of life. As she went her way, she thought to ask God for help. But she changed her mind and said, God can find out that my son is not good to me. But God was gracious and helped the mother to bring the snow from the cliff. So, you made it. Now, I have another task for you. Go out to the frozen lake. There is a hole in the middle of it. Catch me a carp there for lunch. But I see Stina and I can perish in the lake. That is not my problem. The fact that her son lied, lying on her again grieved the mother even more this time, but she went to the lake. While she was walking through the cry, to the cracking ice inside, she thought, it would be better if I die. Although she didn't pray to God for help, he saved her once again. He sent a girl with a fish. Thank you, my dear. Granny takes the fish and brings itself to the daughter-in-law. On the third day, the mother sat by the fire and took her son, her son t shirt to me. Stop doing that, you blind old fool. The, the old woman was broken, so she went aside, sat in the bitter cold on the bench in front of the house and cried to God, Oh God, please help me. Would you buy some wood of hiding, mother? I have no money, my dear, but if you like, I can mend your sleep. Thank you, Granny. Please take this bottle of hiding wood. No, no, I couldn't. But please, take it. The Granny takes the bottle of kingly wood to the the fire and then magic started. <laughs> Across the field, 
When she came to the large table, she was so cold that she couldn't go no farther. I'll freeze her, very tall. She took some lights out her bag, spread the snow and lit a fire to warm up a little. The fire brightly started up and then, miracle! Come with us, Granny, dance in the forest. <laughs> Because Granny preferred her misery. Oh no, you are wrong. Forest is still enchanted. Really? Oh yeah. There are still various miracles. Everyone deserves it. If you are evil, you will see snakes and dragons. And if you are good, you will see brownies. Mm -hmm. 